Hey guys, it's Alex from European Coffee Trip and in this video we will talk about coffee freshness again. In the previous video William talked to the professional baristas, but now Petra will share how to keep coffee fresh at home. So let's get started. <laughs> I do a lot of trainings for home users and the most common question which I get really often is uh, about freshness, about the fact that the coffee at home they make, that a lot of times the espresso doesn't have crema, um, that it is, it is very watery and the filter coffee for example that it tastes empty. So what is the reason for all those things and every time when I ask them what they do at the end it leads to the freshness and um, how to store the coffee. So this is the topic what we will talk about now. If you want to have a really good coffee at home, it's really easy. And first what you should do is um, where you buy your coffee. I recommend to buy your coffee in uh, roastery or online, but it needs to be fresh or in your local coffee shop because the beans, this is the core for the rest of your work. So buy your coffee fresh, the roastery is the best. Each coffee bag has usually a roast date on it and uh, the roasters, they recommend to use the coffee within six weeks. What I recommend from my experience is to use the coffee a little bit earlier. It depends if you will work with espresso or will with uh, filter coffee. For espresso is the best to use the coffee between two to four weeks. For filter coffee you can use it a little bit earlier and a little bit faster, I would say one to three weeks. So this is our Colombian coffee. Uh, it calls Los Mangos and it's been processed by a wash process. It is roasted actually two weeks ago, which is perfect. So I can already use it for filter coffee, definitely. And it's just right the time to try it for espresso as well. When the coffee is roasted, it has a lot of gases inside. So when the roasteries bag the coffee, they put it in special bags, which have a little valve on it. This valve is there for the gases, that the gases can actually escape the packaging. If the bag doesn't have the valve, the bag can get swollen and it can even pop. So it's really good if the bag has the valve, so the gases can leave. Uh, the disadvantage of the valve is actually the fact that with the gases, um, the aroma is leaving as well. So this is the reason why we cannot wait for half a year or a year after the coffee is roasted. Once you open the bag, the air can go inside. So it's really important if you use the beans as fast as possible. At home, if you will use it between five to seven days, it's still okay. The coffee will still taste really good. But I would say after one week, then it's getting too long. Um, the beans will lose their freshness. It will lose the aroma. The espresso will not have so much crema. Filter coffee will be really empty. So use the beans after you open the bag as soon as possible. Maximum one week. When you prepare espresso, you will pour your beans in the hopper of the grinder. I recommend to pour a little bit more so there's a little bit away from the top on the blades. And once you make espresso and once you're completely finished with the preparation, what is really, really important is not to leave any coffee beans in the hopper or between the blades. Remove everything, don't leave any leftovers. With filter coffee, it's much easier because with filter coffee, you can pre-dose, pre-weigh your whey and you can put that in your hand grinder and just, just use it. So once you will put it in the grinder, don't forget any beans, because if you leave it inside, what will happen that not just the air can get to the beans, but also the light, the UV does, is not good for the coffee beans. If you leave it for longer in the hopper of the grinder, it can get rancid and then the coffee, of course, doesn't taste well and it will lose the aroma, it will lose all the flavors. So every time, uh, use the coffee straight from the bag. Once you grind the coffee, then you have to use it immediately. There's no chance that you can leave it for later because the, the coffee is the most sensitive when grinded. So even when it's for espresso or filter coffee, use it straight away once you grind it. Store the coffee as easiest as possible. Uh, leave it in the original bag, 
because if you would remove the coffee beans um, and pour them in a glass jar or, or some other jar, um, the beans will lose a little bit of their aroma, um, which is uh, in the original packaging. So leave it in the original bag, that's the best. Once you open the packet with the coffee, remove all the air from inside with your hands. Um, nowadays, a lot of the packets, they have like a special zipper, so you can close it with a zipper. If it doesn't have a zipper, use a simple clip or, um, or a pack, for example. I have also a lot of questions uh, from my customers if they should use the special uh, vacuum containers for storing the coffee. In general, I have to say that I don't really have a good experience with them uh, because together with the air, uh, you suck out the good stuff from the beans as well. So um, if you want to put the coffee to a different container or for to the vacuum one, um, take the original packaging, put it inside, maybe suck a little bit of the air outside, but not completely everything. And the last important thing, where to store your coffee. Have it at a place which is dry, that's the most important, and where it's not too hot. Um, not by your fridge or other electrical equipment where it's, where it's really warm around it. Just have it somewhere in your kitchen in a shelf um, where it's dry. I see three most common mistakes um, while storing or while buying uh, the coffee beans. The first is definitely the one that a lot of customers, they buy too big bag. They buy a bag which is like one kilo, maybe even bigger. And then they have it at home for one month or maybe even longer. And it takes them time um, to use the coffee. So that's the problem with the freshness. And this is the reason why I recommend to buy small packets, 200, 250 grams. And you can buy like three, four of them and then use it within a month. So every week you will open a new coffee bag. That's the best. The second most common mistake is um, that the people pour all the coffee beans straight into the hopper of the grinder, the whole packet. So the coffee beans, they stay there and they are exposed to air. Very often they are exposed to the light. So they are losing the freshness very fast. So um, don't leave your coffee beans in the hopper of the grinder. The third most common mistake is the fact that uh, a lot of people put their coffee in the fridge. The problem is not the fridge on its own, but the moment when you remove the beans out of the fridge, because then the beans get wet and that is not good for the beans. All the information I gave you, it might have sound really strict and harsh, but all these little tiny details will make your coffee at home much, much better. So if you want to have a really good cup of coffee, this is the way how to do it.